Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to import a Google font. Um, the instructions here are very long, um, but basically we, um, we want to import the font into this page. Um, in order to do that, we're going to have to bring this code into the website. This is JavaScript and it just basically links our website to this H URL this href URL, and then that brings in uh, the um, different, different fonts that we can use. And so inside of the, uh, we're going to create a font family CSS rule that uses lobster font and, um, and ensure that it applied to your H2 font. So first off, we want to create an H2 font uh, selector, CSS selector, and we're going to do font-family. And then here we will add in lobster and put the curly quotes here. And as you can see, as soon as that happened, I'm going to comment it out by pressing command forward slash. We see cat photo app at the top. This is our H2 element. Um, it's right now it's in the sans serif font, but if we press the comment it back in, you see it pops over and it becomes this lobster font. Um, we want to import the lobster font. This is where we import. Um, above, we import lobster font. Oh, you, you don't need to do this. I'm just actually putting in comments here. So I'm commenting this out. So this above, we we um, import the lobster font. And then here, um, we, um, we use our H2 CSS selector to change the font. And your P element should still use the font monospace. So this, that means that these elements should still be monospace. If we had made a mistake and we were trying and we wanted and we changed the code, if we had put lobster into here, you would see that these turn to lobster as well, but this would cause the tests to pass. So we don't want that to happen. And so the way it is now, we should pass the tests. Okay, great. So what did we learn? We basically learned, this is just the link, how you link in text, um, this is how you link in JavaScript code from outside websites. This is a very common thing. You'll use this whenever you use other libraries. So you, oftentimes websites will have long lists of these. And then we just created another CSS selector like we did last time. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, and if you uh, have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you uh, share this video, if you found it was helpful. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next video.